welcome and join me in Easy Steps. Today I'm going to share with you my SLK 230. I got a problem today. My seatbelt got stuck. It just don't go anywhere. It's just malfunction. It's just stuck. It's not going nowhere. So how I'm going to repair it? That part I'm going to share with you. If I'm able to fix it, that would be great. If the mechanism is not broken, we can fix it. If the mechanism is broken, then we're going to replace the new belt. So let's get started. This one has uh, three screws, and this one will take a T9. It's a torch bit. So we're going to open these three screws. Keep the screws in a safe place. You don't want to lose them. All the screws are the same length, so then we're going to remove hard metal bracket. After removing the bracket along with those three tiny screws, what we need to do, this is the rubber. We're going to lift this off. The rubber runs into the channel, so we're going to remove that. There is a one Phillips screw, it goes inside this cavity, it's right in the left corner. If you have a longer screwdriver, you just place it in and you open it, you take the Phillips screw out. The next step will be, we need an 8 mm socket with the ratchet. Now on the back of the car, on the trunk side. So this is the leather cover. You can pull this one up or you can press a little bit. Once you place the socket, then we're going to remove it. It's really important that when you are removing 8 mm bolt, you have to be very careful. If you drop it, then you're going to look into more trouble. As myself, I did drop it. Open the trunk, and this is my hot top piece of store, so I thought it was stuck somewhere. It get dropped and got stuck there, so I removed it. So that part, you have to be careful. So now this part is removed. Now, we're going to slide this one. And when we slide it, you have to be careful. If you lift it, you will break the tab. That tab locks in right here. The easier job is done. Now it will be to start the harder part. So I'm going to bring the chair in the front. Bring the seat in the front. And now we're going to pull this padding out. Once it's removed, this is the carpet piece. We're going to pull it back. That's the belt mechanism. Now we're going to see what caused the problem. Why it got stuck in there. It could be, I can see the hairs up there. It could be a dirt. So now we need a 17 mm socket and we're going to remove it. This is the one. After removing the bolt, this is the pop out sensor when you're working with the seat belt. The, your key is not in the ignition. Now we're going to bring this one up. Taking this one out is a little tricky. Turn around this way. It's a sitter this way. So you turn around and then it comes up. Once we remove the belt mechanism out, it could be a possible, like I said, uh, during the wear and tear time, uh, the dirt or anything, airborne particles, so they get inside with uh, dirt or could be a rain or anything. God knows, this gets stuck and you would be lucky to fix it yourself. If the mechanism itself breaks down, then this is how you move it and you order a new part and you replace it. What do you need to do? You grab it from here and this is the roller. You pull it, just like with your fingers. So as you can see, start making noise. So now if I pull it, see it's going back. Wow, it locks. It's going back. So now we are back in the business. It's pulling nicely. So as you see, the belt started to work. Now I'm going to install the bolt, the sensor, and all of the screws in the reverse order as I have opened it. I hope this video is going to help you out in your Mercedes if the belt got stuck and the mechanism is not broken then you can fix it yourself. The belt is all working, easy, DIY. This is also easy and simple to fix it yourself. And I hope you're going to like this video. And if you do like it, please like, share, and subscribe.